So in this video we're following on from the previous video where we created a custom column and the situation that we have here is we're ready and set up for this race in play. You know, we could make this a lot more complicated if we wanted to. Um, but what we're going to do in this video is line it up with the in play trading tool. So what I'm going to do um, with the in play trader, we don't really need charts and stuff uh, for the in play trader. So the first thing that I'm going to do is remove some of these um, characteristics. You can do that by clicking on here and unticking or if you bring the headers back on you can just drag and drop uh, this information over here. So the in-play trader um, already has the silks and various other information so if I pull this out of the way we can leave ourselves with the trade profit and if I click on in-play trader this will bring up the in-play chart so you can see we've got the in-play chart here. So as you may be aware already, we can click on the in-play trader in front or behind the horse and using left or right mouse clicks to place an order, but I'm going to align it to the custom columns in here. In this area here, you can select the spacing between individual rows. So if I do this, you can see the screen is bigger, but the disadvantage of this is it doesn't line up with the custom columns. So what you should do is change or modify that setting to 36. We have defaulted it to 36 and then if you shrink the screen according to uh, the size that you want to uh, see on the screen using a spacing of 36 will actually line it up with all of the clickable areas on the one click screen so now you could actually hover your mouse over here if you want to rather if we click over here you can see we can vary the prices if you look down on this part of the screen you, we can vary the prices that we can back or layout very easy to do so but here gives us a bit more control over exactly the price that we want to go in at. So we could fix the price here, for example, um, or fix the liability or do all of those different things. But the way that we've created it is we've lined up using um, this, the row spacing of 36 pixels. We've lined that up with the uh, one click screen. So we can create a custom clickable area which we can then use as the prices within this particular market uh, move backwards and forwards in play. And if you want to, there's no reason why you can't undock that screen. You can see we can undock it here and then move both of them around. You know, if we shrink this screen down to that size there and shrink that to that size there, we can pull that across, maybe expand the in play trader or locate it in a different part of the screen and then put this again aligned with the, uh, the the current odds within the screen. So you can sort of mix and match, play around, uh, do all manner of things depending upon the way that you want to set this up. But the idea of having the in-play trader set at 36 is that you can actually align the columns uh, automatically with the action that you'll see on the in-play trader. So there's a little uh, hint and uh, tip for you when you're using the in-play trader and the custom columns.